Hi, Leah. How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. Like I, when I think of you, I like the word that comes to my mind is just lovely. Oh, a lovely soul. Oh my gosh, thank you. That means so much to me. First of all, really quickly, yeah. I know that you're a nail enthusiast and I was gonna wait to ask you this question, but I can't. What yeah. is going on? How do any of us achieve this? Wow, your nails are so extraordinary. They're really inappropriate for my age, but these are like lips with a grill and I, I don't like I don't know why I just love nails I love hair and makeup I love the whole thing and my daughter thinks I'm ridiculous she's probably right but I love them I enjoy them I does your daughter she's 16 is that correct yes she finds nothing about me interesting um I I I'm sure that's not true or it's just an act you know a phase act. Um, yeah. Does she like anything girly? Is she like, while she's, you know, being like, yeah, your nails, does she have little things she gets into? Oh, no, she's, she's a big fan of makeup. She buys tons of makeup. She hoards the makeup. She doesn't necessarily wear a lot of makeup. But the thing that is really true to who my daughter is, like, I, I have love notes from my daughter that I frame around the house. She actually is a, like a lovely human being. She sends me things that I should be posting on social media about systemic racism, social injustice, like constantly saying, mom, you need to be doing this. You know, I need less plastics in this house. You know, here's another water we need to have. Like she's very conscious. And, and that's why she gets away with being 16 to, to her mom. I mean, <laughs> I have eight and almost seven. And yeah. when I was reading about you saying like, you know, the homework or like, you know, I mean, my daughters recently, unfortunately, were not feeling well and they were sick and uh, they couldn't do homeschool. And I was very relieved because I hate that homeschool is so hard. I was like, oh, they're sick. We can't be at the homeschool today. It's so hard. Like literally people doing this with their the caretakers, with moms, dads, they deserve an award. I mean, I tried to do homework with her one time. I couldn't even understand the question. I said, I don't even understand what they're asking you to do. What do they want you to do? Google it. I don't know. It's like, I couldn't even help in any way, shape or form. The patients, because you know, our kids will do things for other people. Like how many times, you know, your kids have had a sleepover and you get a text from the mom or dad or kid saying, oh, your daughter's like, she made your, I'm like, she made the bet, what? I she what? try to put the fear uh, of just everything wholly out in the universe into my children when they go over to said friend's house. I'm like, we're talking, your, their mom and I are talking afterwards and I'll know everything that you do. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. Um, exactly. Yes. Well, she, she's, she's lovely at other people's house. Lovely. I love that she's so woke too, like with the plastic right. and my daughter was canvassing, you know, yes. throughout the building. And I, I sometimes wish that we could be raising kids like with playing till the streetlights go on and no social media, but that's just not the world we live in. And, and I do think a trade-off is this wokeness, this awareness, it's incredible. I wasn't thinking about these things when I was her age. I was thinking about Jordash and Sergio Valente. And, <gasps> you know, that, that's what I was thinking about, right? And so to have, what, same, same? No, I'm, I'm like, were you me. thinking about Shemenda Fair and Fiorucci? Because I was. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Maybe a little Sassoon? Yeah, exactly. Candy, candy shoes. I, mean, like, I love all that stuff. Oh. So the fact that they, they are now aware of the world around them and they are, uh, it, 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 to me, it makes me so proud to know that she's somebody who cares about what's happening in the world that isn't just about her world, that uh, she can affect change. Well, I think in this day and age, they'll teach us things uh, as we teach them things. And uh, I'm just, I was really excited to talk to you about your daughter because I'm raising two yeah. girls and um, it's such a privilege and it's so wild out there in this current world. And um, 
there are things to navigate, but things to sort of embrace as well. And how that we do that dance is such an art. I'm so excited yeah. to talk yeah. to you about People Puzzler. I'm freaking out. Yeah. I'm the biggest crossword puzzle person, and People Magazine is one of the best crosswords ever. So this Agreed. show, yeah. thank you. Yes, I love it. I mean, it's so great. When they called me, they said, do you want to do a game show? I was like, no, because I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. So no. And they were like, no, no, no. Do you want to host a game show? And I was like, oh, do I want to host a game show? Okay. Uh, well, what, you know, what is it? Because if it's like, you know, Jeopardy type stuff, you know, that's just not for, and is it celebrity driven? Because I really didn't want to do like, you know, celebrities, you know, and they said, no, it's, it's, you know, the People Magazine crossword and Game Show Network teamed up to do this people you know it's pop culture it's fun facts I was like oh my god I love that and it's normal people yes yes so um it came at a time you know we're all still you know uh, on lockdown and I I was like I wanted to get out and I love people like I love talking to people like if you invite me to you know your cousin's house like the like it's a it's a backyard barbecue. Like I'm so I'd rather do that any day than go to a red carpet event. Like any day, right? And so getting out of the house and and being with contestants every day, like that. I love the moments before you know they said action, where I was like, "Hey, Mary, tell me about oh you know," and it was just fun and easy. And every time they lost you, I was like. I'm so sorry. You know, I wanted to give them something. I felt bad. And every single person was like, I'm just happy to be here, Leo. Like I had the best time today. And it just reminded me the joy of people connecting. It's a fun show. I'm not good at it, but I really love that people are.